Oh, and you know, just hanging out in the trunk. Lots of room for activities back here. Lots of dead bodies. <laughs> well, we're getting ready to cut the fender wells out so we can fit the 12 inch wide wheels. Mother Nature's already done a little cutting for us in this one, but we're gonna fix it up. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit bigger job than I thought it was gonna be, but it's okay. We're gonna trim it as much as we can from the inside and then get up underneath and trim it as close to the body as possible. Trying to make it look really good. But so we're about to start cutting and we'll see what we find. Got both fender wells cut out, driver sides almost 100% clearance, just have to get the sanding pad and clean up some sharp edges and get everything prepped so I can put the tubs in. Passenger side has a little bit more clearance in to do. I had to actually cut into the body some right here where the door closures go. I'm going to take some 14 gauge and make plates and close all that back in. And then the tubs are going to go from front to back. I bought some 24 gauge pre-made tubs. I just have to assemble them and cut them to fit. Got the fender well back panel already kind of mocked up. We're going to set it down on the tire, make sure it clears everything one more time. And then we're going to mark it and cut it for the frame. It's not quite deep enough right here, so I'm going to make a panel to go and cover this up and then mold it all together. And then it's going to sit flush right there on that lip. And then we'll have to measure and run it to the fender. And then we'll be able to stick this bad boy in. So we got the back of the fender well above the tire. Car can go just a touch bit lower, but just for clearance and then everything, it's about an inch and a half above the tire. I know it can't go that low. Now we're just gonna mark it on the back side so we can trim it so it'll fit the frame rail, take the tire out, cut it, and then we'll start using cardboard to mock up the flat piece that goes across the top of the tire to go to the fender well and get it fitting good and then we'll start on the next side so we marked the back of the fender well along the frame right here and then we moved it up an inch i'm not an artist so please excuse i can't draw a straight line we're going to cut this line here and then test fit it see how everything lines up and then go from there Got the back plate cut, fits great. Made a cardboard template to go around the side of it, and then I took some thin TIG wire and stuck in the corrugations of the cardboard to touch it to the fender well. I'm gonna take super glue and 
just dab it right there so it'll hold it in place and then pull it out and that's what I'm going to use to mark the top piece We'll cut it, do a test fit, and then put the tub together, and hopefully it goes right in pretty easy. Both tubs are fitted in now. Going to get a little panel bonding and seam sealer action going on, and we will be done with this part of the project. Fairly happy with the way they fit up. I'm by no means a body man, for sure. Now we get to measure for the rear axle and order some brakes and axles and get these things rolling.